Great. So um, we were really excited to come to the school and, and do a project in the gallery, and uh, here we are. I hope you guys are excited. I understand not everybody is a painter. How many painters do we have? How many people are ready to paint with me? Four people raised their hands, said I've painted before, or I consider myself a painter. So maybe they were lying, the other people. <laughs> but uh, I couldn't tell the difference. I, I could not pick out who was the painter in the room when we were painting the day. It, it just was really fun to see what everybody was doing. None of us were sure exactly what was going to happen. We knew we were going to have a mural, and, and then um, we were going to do self-portraits. Uh, but it really unfolded into this beautiful, collaborative process. I'm really excited to be here. Uh, I, we've been working on this project for months. So the project was, we have these large walls, let's do self-portraits because that's always fun and not, not too far out. It's like, you can draw yourself. Larger than life. Um, some people will tell me, just right to my face, they'll say, I don't have a creative bone in my body. And I just think, you know, why did they say that? Did someone, did their teacher tell them that? I kind of just walked into it on the first day. This, this, this very big, like, curatorial class, and I was just, I was interested in the subject. I've always been interested in art as like a, as like a viewer, never as like a maker. But with that being said, it was like the first environment I ever felt that like, uh, that culture of, you have to have this sort of. Uh, qualification in order to achieve something is completely gone. The creative, there's just such a creative air in the room. It's really nice um, to see everyone working together and everyone learning from each other. Um, you know, like for example, I just started painting on the wall, got immediate advice, got feedback, got everything, um, and actually made something I was like extremely surprised and uh, proud of. I think we talked a little bit about how building the right environment for the students to step into and relax and just have an art, uh, a collaborative art experience. And, and we have to create that and, and this safe zone for that experience. And you know, it's a matter of just um, doing it and let it, letting your creativity out, um, trying not to be afraid of, um, of the judgment that comes along with it. An opportunity like this uh, really allows students from across the uh, intellectual range of the Porter College community, people who are majoring in science, majoring in literature, majoring in anthropology, they're all in there right now, you know, painting this mural. Um, and in that way, sort of um, getting access to a form of self-development and uh, a form of self-knowing that might be hard to come by in terms of the regular curriculum because of their commitments to their majors. We're going to do a visualization of how this room is going to transform when it's our turn to paint on the wall. Tom did a visualization with the group and that was really um, powerful. And then also he just broke the ice completely, um, telling us all to meditate and just like close your eyes and see what you um, like see what, whatever you feel, or see what, whatever you see, that's what you're going to draw. The thing that had to, had to happen was them visualizing themselves in their own psyche, in their own mind. They had to go away from that day having a visual in their mind, you know, making some bonds together as a group and then everybody has their visual. So when we start painting, they're not searching for, they're not they're not stuck, oh, well, what am I gonna paint? You know exactly what you're gonna paint. I went about it and just said, like, look, I'm gonna make a sound wave from one of my songs. And then they're like, okay, cool, do it. Here's how you do it. This is how you chalk out the wall. This is how you, like, like size stuff and make it bigger from, like, a piece of paper. This is how you do this. And I'm like, okay, thanks. See in the mural that they produced some really skilled artists. You could tell people who are clearly um, good draftsmen who've been working for many years in painting, but then some really wonderful, fresh, new looks that were really created by people who were new to paint and who were new to making things at that scale. And that was really a pleasure to see, to mix together. And it's almost like a chorus of voices, I think. That's what I loved about looking at the, 
the mural. It's really, you get a very, it's a different set of tonalities from all the different styles of painting.